Zero three. Give me point nine nine nine. Point five zero zero two. Now, do you see the the trend to which this function is 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 getting close to? Can you see it? What number is it getting close to from the right? What number is it getting close to from the left? That's why you put it in this order so you can see where it's approaching from the left and from the right. If it's the same number, if this is getting to 0.5 and that's getting to 0.5, you'd say, okay, that limit exists and that limit is 0.5. Are you following me on this? So the, the limit right here would be 0.5. And that's how you use a table to figure that out. Now, of course, this was a pretty mind-numbing task, right? Who wants to plug in 1.001 .001 and do all this for, for a whole bunch of numbers? Do you want to do that? No, I don't want to do that either because it's boring, right? We're going to find some better ways to do these limits in the next section. For right now, though, I need you to get an understanding of what a limit is. A limit asks, what's the function, the value of the function do as you get closer, as your x value gets closer to that? What's the function's value do? What's the function's value do as your x value gets closer to that? From both the left and the right, if it's to the same number, the limit exists, and it's that number. Right, you feel okay with it so far? Now, are there ever cases when the limit doesn't exist for a number? I want you to look at this, all right? We're going to talk about something called one-side limits. And the question is, what's the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x? Now, what we've had on the board already is what's called a right-sided limit and a left-sided limit. You have this kind of intuitive idea, right? In order for a limit to exist, it's got to go there from both sides. Does that make sense to you? It's got to get there from both sides for the limit to exist. So from the left and from the right, it has to be the same number. I want you to look at this thing. Which way would be from the right? Over here or over here? Option one or option two? From the right would be this way, true? We can actually have right and left sided limits. So here's how you write that. A right sided limit In our case, it would be a limit of our function as x approaches whatever value you're talking about. In this case, we're talking about the value 2. Do you guys see where the 2 is coming from in this case? We want to find out when x approaches 2. And how you say from the right-hand side is you put a little superscript plus. That means from the right. So in general, you'd have this. You'd have a limit of f of x as x approaches a some number that I give you from the right. That says a right-sided, one-sided, right-sided limit. Now, do you have to be okay with that? So plus means from the right. You all all right with the plus meaning from the right? What do you think a left-sided limit is going to have? Ooh, you guys are geniuses. Exactly. Yeah, left-sided limit. would be a limit of f of x, sure, as x approaches a certain number. In our case, our certain number is 2. And that little minus or negative is from the left. In general, we'd have the same situation, only from the left. So let me ask you a question. Can you find the limits, both right-sided and left-sided, of this function? Let's try that together. Here's what the, the question, I'll go nice and slow so you can understand it. Here's what the question asks. What is the value of the function as x approaches 2 from the right for a right-sided and from the left for a left-sided? Okay, so look, follow, follow the function along. I need you to tell me what the height of my finger is. What's the height of my finger? when I get really close to this value along this line. So this is from, am I going from the right or the left in this case? From the right. From the right. Okay, that, it's always from the, it's not to the, it's from the right. So from the right, the height of my finger is okay, a little above one, a little above one. What's the height of my finger going towards as I slow down? I'm slowing down, what's the height of my finger trying to get to? One. It's trying to get to one. Do you see that? It's not that my finger's getting close, it's not the, the limit's going to be 2. Mm -mm. 
It's saying what happens to the value of the function. The value is your y-axis. What's happening to the value of the function or the height of my finger as my finger is approaching in this direction, the number two. Does that make sense to you? So here, the height of my finger is trying to get to one as I'm approaching two from the left. That's what I said. From the right. I'll edit that out. You won't even know. Beep. Just kidding. I'm not going to edit that. It's going to be on there forever. Uh, yeah, so from the right. So from the right, it's going to be approaching one. Yeah, thanks for that. You okay with that being one? It's either yes or no. If you're not, that's okay, but I need to know. I need to have a question from you if you're not. Are you guys okay with the height of that being one as this function is approaching an x value of two? So basically you're asking what's the y value when you reach your x value? Okay. Okay. We can see you. <laughs> what's your y value when you reach your x value? So now we're going to do it from the left hand side. What's the height of my finger, aka the y value, as I approach the x value of two? So what am I doing? Where am I getting close to as I'm getting to two from the left hand side? Where am I getting close to? Negative one. Negative one. Yeah, absolutely. Now here's a little note. Here's a little note for you. In order for a limit to exist at a point, the left side limit must equal the right side limit. If it doesn't, then the limit doesn't exist. Does that make sense to you? It's got to go to the same place, otherwise the limit doesn't exist. You can be one-sided, sure, here, here. But if it's not the same spot, then you'd say overall the limit, the limit means from both sides, the general limit means from both sides. So if it's not going to the same thing, that limit doesn't exist. So let me write that out for you and I'll explain it. For a limit to exist at a point, A. For a limit to exist at A, <coughs> in other words, for this to happen, for you to be able to say the limit as X approaches A is some number, for that to happen, you must have this. The limit of X of f of x as x approaches a from the left must be equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right. It's got to happen. So let's see if that happens. What this says in plain English is this. You ready for the plain English part? Here's plain English. The function from the left and the function from the right have to have the same value. Basically, they've got to meet up somewhere. Are you with me on that? So let, let's check this out. Does the function from the right and the function from the left meet up? <coughs> what do you think? Do those lines meet up? They do? They, they meet up? They come to the same point? Same value? Same height? Well, let's see. This limit was 1. This limit was negative 1. Is 1 the same as negative 1? So, does the, both the one-sided limits have the same value? No, you'd say this limit does not exist. So we'd say the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x does not exist. This says why. This says the limits from the left and the limit from the right must be the identical number. You remember this example? Look up here on the board. Remember this example? Hey, you said the limit existed because that's 0.5 and that's 0.5, basically. It's coming to 0.5. You with me on that? What if this was 0.5 and that was 7? Would that be the same number? No. This one's 1, this one's negative 1. Is that the same number? That limit doesn't exist. Okay. It says that you have to have the same function value on both the left and the right. Both. Would you like another example of this? Sure. Yeah. Why not? Well.
practice. Okay, let's see, let's see some good practice. If you're not getting it, I need some questions out of you because you really do have to understand this before we go any further. So, here's the idea. In order to find the limit at a certain value, in this case, we're going to talk about 2 again. Do you see why that would be the interesting case here? I want to break it down to you, all right? <coughs> if I asked for the, the limit of 3, it's not very interesting because look it. Here's the value of 3. Does the limit exist at that point? Mm -hmm. Answer is clearly yes. At 3, at 3, yeah. Look it. The function's there, the function's there, the function's there. It's all the same. Do you get me on that? That's not an interesting example. That's boring. That just says the function is completely there, therefore the limit must exist. From the right and from the left, you're coming to the same exact point. Do you get me on that? That's not interesting. If I ask you about 2, though, that's more interesting. You need to be able to find the limit from the right and the limit from the left as we're approaching an x value of 2. In math, that means this. Can you do this? Can you do this? And can you determine this? Let's see if you can. Let's see if you can. I'm going to give you about five seconds between each, each problem to see if you can get it, okay? So right now, I want you to determine on your own, can you tell me, don't say it out loud, okay, let everyone do this. Can you determine on your own the limit of g of x as x approaches 2 from the right? Do it on your own, don't say it out loud. Give you about five seconds. The question in English asks this. What is the y value? when x gets really close to 2 from the right? That's what the question asks. What is the function value or the y value when x gets really close to 2 from the right? Well, that was like four people answering. Do you all not know it or do you know it? If you don't know it, then that's fine, but you need to tell me. If you know it, then say it. Uh, can you find out that the function value, the y value, is about 3 or is getting close to 3 when x is getting close to 2? Can you see that? Because you're following this along, right? You're going, okay, what's happening as I'm getting close to the value 2 along the x? The y is getting close to 3. So this is how much? It's 3. Okay, now I want you to do this on your own. Don't say it loud again. Uh, find me the limit of g of x as x approaches 2 from the left. Write it down in your paper. Don't say it loud. From the left. Basically, in English, that says, what's the y value? when the x value is getting close to 2 from the left, starting from the left. What is it? One. 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 Did you all get one? How many were able to find one? Good, okay. Here's how you tell if the limit exists or not. Here's how you tell. You look at these ones. Are they the same? No. You sure? Yeah, one's three, one's one. I mean, how, how much more sure can you be? If those aren't the same, does that exist? No. If those are the same, does that exist? Yeah. Yeah. I want you to know something really cool, too, about limits. Does it matter at all that that point was right in the middle of nothing? We don't care about that point. We don't care at 2. We care what's happening to the function as we're getting close to that. Do you see the difference? I don't care about that. It could, 